Your Excellencies, Honorable Ministers, Distinguished Guests, Official Delegation Representatives, Ladies and Gentlemen, it is indeed a great honor for me to welcome you to the fourth edition of the Annual Investment Meeting. I'm Rania Ali and I will be your MC for today. I would like to thank the Presidents, Ministers, Ambassadors, foreign dignitaries, as well as the distinguished representatives of the private sector, the global experts, our sponsors, and the media, and the thousands of participants for being with us here today at AIM 2014, enriching our deliberation and interaction. We are gathered here today with you, our partners, at the annual investment meeting, the region's leading economic event, focusing on foreign direct investment in the emerging markets under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai. It is most rewarding to see so many countries from all around the globe converging to Dubai to attend the fourth edition of the annual investment meeting. With around 60 ministers, many delegations from more than 120 countries honored the United Arab Emirates with their presence, accompanied by large delegations of government, high official businessmen and businesswomen. AIM is a premier three-day FDI-focused event from 8 to 10 April that includes an executive thought leadership conference together with a serial of parallel sessions focusing on specific sectors of hospitality and tourism, agriculture, energy, infrastructure, manufacturing, and much, much more. Besides this aim, provide its esteemed delegate limitless opportunity and the chance to create solid bonds in a dedicated environment through the ministerial round table. The high level exhibition and concluding the efforts by AIM Investment Awards where we are rewarding 12 winners from all continent during the gala dinner. Distinguished guests, Please welcome His Excellency, Engineer Sultan bin Saeed Al Mansouri, UAE Minister of Economy, to the stage for his welcome speech. It's a long walk, isn't it? <laughs> Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I have the pleasure to welcome you to the fourth edition of the annual investment meeting AIM, the United Arab Emirates and its highest authorities attach great importance 
to this important forum held for the second consecutive year under the patronage of His Highness, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the UAE Vice President, Prime Minister, and ruler of Dubai. Distinguished guests, this year's event will focus on the theme of investment partnership for sustainable and inclusive growth in frontier and emerging markets. We do believe that it is together through our joint efforts that we can build a better world and improve the lot of our people through greater interaction, understanding, and development of the new partnership in investment and trade. I am so happy to see so many countries here represented from different regions of the world and from various sectors. This augurs well for a fruitful and successful AIM 2014. Distinguished participants, we have assembled a rich and varied conference program and also invited numerous experts from various parts of the world and different areas. This will undoubtedly contribute to enrich our discussions and advance our thinking to show us how to consolidate the economic growth of our economies in a world of fierce competition. Excellencies, distinguished guests, as the principal host of the event, the UAE Ministry of Economy is deeply honored to welcome you all to Dubai, to the United Arab Emirates, and I do wish you also an enjoyable and fruitful and a very successful stay in our country. And thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency, for your speech. And now I would like to welcome uh, His Excellency Yagur Barisovo, President of the Saka Republic Russian Federation, for a speech. Уважаемый господин министр Султан бин Саед Аль-Мансури, уважаемые дамы и господа, прежде всего разрешите выразить признательность и благодарность организаторам, предоставившим возможность Республики Саха-Якутия Российской Федерации презентовать регион в этом прекрасном городе на площадке четвертого ежегодного инвестиционного форума. Все мы здесь ощущаем благожелательность и радушие, экономическую открытость страны, что, несомненно, позволило Объединенным Арабским Эмиратам войти в первую двадцатку в рейтинге глобальной конкурентоспособности. И решение о проведении Всемирной выставки Экспо-2020 именно в городе Дубай свидетельствует об этом. В этом году Якутия впервые участвует в ежегодном инвестиционном форуме. Наша республика расположена в северной и восточной части Евразийского материка и является самым большим регионом Российской Федерации. Территория более чем 3 миллиона квадратных километров сопоставима с территорией всего Аравийского полуострова. Но при этом население республики менее одного миллиона человек. Якутия – одна из территорий, где сохранились 
первозданная природная чистота и разнообразие животного и растительного мира. На долю Якутии приходится свыше 30% нетронутой человеком природы России и около 10% всего мира. Основа инвестиционной привлекательности республики – это природные ресурсы, полезные ископаемые, которые обеспечивают Якутии первое место в рейтинге России по общим запасам. В рамках инвестиционного форума Республики Саха-Якутия представляет свою экспозицию с туристскими, инфраструктурными и инновационными проектами. И главный международный проект – это международные спортивные игры «Дети Азии». Отрадно, что в играх традиционно участвует команда Объединенных Арабских Эмиратов. Туристический потенциал Якутии основан на экологическом, эксклюзивном и богатом этническом разнообразии туризме и уникальном климате, где в материковой части планеты достигнут минимальной температуры минус 71 градус зимой. И, конечно, мы не можем не презентовать всемирно известный бренд Якутии «Алмазы» и компания «Алроса», добывающие их. Только посетив экспозицию, вы сможете насладиться бриллиантом. Приглашаем всех на нашу экспозицию, где вы сможете ощутить свежее дыхание нашего северного региона. Спасибо за внимание. Thank you, Your Excellency, for your speech. And now, please welcome the speech by Saida Shaker, first Vice Mayor of Tanjar, the beautiful city of honor, Kingdom of Morocco. Please welcome her to the stage. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أفضل المرسلين أصحاب المعالي أصحاب السعادة أيها الحضور الكريم أتشرف باسم السيد فؤاد العمري عمدة مدينة طنجة بنيابة عنه أن أعبر عن سعادتي لوجود بين حضراتكم إنه لشرف عظيم أن تحضى مدينة طنجة ضيف شرف ملتقى استثمار سنوي 2014 بدبي هذا الملتقى الاقتصادي الهام الذي تتجه نحوه الأنظار من كل صوب وحدب لما يتيحه من فرص الالتقاء والتبادل بين المسؤولين الحكوميين والمحليين وأصحاب القرار السياسي والاقتصادي فالتشرف بالحضور في هذا الملتقى الهام يسمح للمملكة المغربية عموما ولمدينة طنجة على وجه الخصوص بإبراز المؤهلات الاقتصادية والبشرية التي جعلت منها مدينة تصنف ضمن لائحة المدن الكبرى في البحر الأبيض المتوسط ولعل هذه الفرصة الثمينة التي تكرمت بها دولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة بتنظيم الملتقى من شأنها تعزيز العلاقات الثنائية التاريخية المتينة بين البلدين من شأنها ومن شأنها أيضا استعراض الملجالات الواعدة الكفيلة بتبادل فرص الاستثمارات في مختلف الميادين فمدينة طنجة تحولت بفضل الإرادة السامية لصاحب الجلالة الملك محمد السادس نصره الله إلى ورش تنموي كبير معزز ببنيات تحتية مهيكلة ومندمجة تستجيب للمواصفات العالمية 
وهي بالإضافة إلى استضافتها لمشاريع استثمارية عالمية كبرى فهي ما زالت ما زالت تزخر بفرص مغرية حقيقية في مختلف المجالات الصناعية والتجارية والسياحية والعمرانية إن حضور الوفد المغربي في ملتقى الاستثمار السنوي سيسمع سيسمح للفاعلين المحليين والحكوميين ورجال الأعمال المغاربة بالإطلاع على التطور الهائل الذي أحرزته الإمارات العربية المتحدة عموماً وإمارة دبي على وجه الخصوص في مختلف المجالات العمرانية والتجارية والصناعية والمالية وسيمكنهم الاستفادة من إنجازاتها الرائدة ليس فقط على المستوى العربي بل كذلك على المستوى العالمي أيضاً كما أن الملتقى سيفتح فضاءات مثمرة للإطلاع على مختلف التجارب الاستثمارية الناجحة عبر العالم وسيسمح بتبادل التجارب والخبرات بين مختلف الفاعلين وتقييم فرص الاستثمار في الدول النامية والسائرة في طريق النمو وإذ نتشرف بتقديم الشكر الجزيل لصاحب سمو الشيخ محمد بن راشد آل مكتوم على ما يقوم به من مجهودات تنموية رائدة ورائعة وإلى تأسيس تعاون عربي فعال وخلاق نجدد لكم تهنئة على اختيار إمارة دبي لاستضافة المعرض الدولي 2020 وفقكم الله إلى ما فيه خير البلاد والعباد والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Minister Sultan, Your Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, my warmest respect to our patron, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and my thanks to the people of Dubai for the extremely kind welcome and most generous hospitality. Thank you also for your invitation minister and for the opening statement. The excellent program arranged for us this year and for the most distinguished gathering of experts and authorities you have invited. And my congratulations to the government and people of the United Arab Emirates. On our meeting here, minister, it's a great pleasure to be in this exciting city of Dubai. In many ways, it shows what can be achieved from the principle listed in our theme here. Investment, partnership, sustainable and inclusive growth, frontiers and emerging markets. That's why I'm sure the expert and experience offered here will certainly help us at a very high technical level. So seeing investment is not my own field. I'm looking forward to learning a great deal. And when I go home, it will be a lot easier to answer the question that foreign investment often raises. Having said that, however, as a Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade, I am hoping that we can keep something else in mind. By this, I mean the viewpoint of the ordinary people we represent. In order for investment to succeed, governments and investors have to have the full support and confidence. And this is not guaranteed. For many of our people, foreign investment is not always a positive force for development. They do not yet see any true partnership. They see growth in terms of problems it brings, like rising prices and the cost of living. As for sustainability, there are things that they do not wish to be sustained, such as things which challenge their faith and traditional values. 
nor in the light of the ancient history do they consider themselves as emerging. And they certainly don't see themselves as markets. They wish to be seen as respected human beings. As a result, there's a danger that foreign investors can sometimes be seen as a new and powerful force for domination. Imposed by, by outsiders. This does not mean, however, that they are completely opposed to investment. They accept that globalism now defines our new century. It is no longer in the future. It is here and right now in almost every walk of life. In Southeast Asia, our regional situation has welcomed it. As members of the ASEAN economic community, this is very important to us in working out our regional policies. We all want to benefit from regional economic integration and we recognize that this means being ready to adapt and learn, not just from each other, but from our partners all over the world. The individual members of our regional association are at different stages of economic development, but we all appreciate the part foreign investment play in the overall long-term development of the region. We have all seen its benefit in new technology employment and training. And certainly at the government level, we want to do all we can to make the region an easy place for doing business. What we have realized, however, is that great sensi sensitivity is needed on all sides, expressed in straightforward human terms. This is why I much appreciate the opportunity given here to share our thought in this aspect of investment. It is the heart of globalism, and as such, we see this meeting as another valuable opportunity for governments and businesses to make sure that it is a strong and healthy heart. It gives us the chance to promote the sense activities required by investors and governments alike. And if sustainability is our aim, dialogue, mutual respect, and common understanding are the only ways to establish it. Thank you.